Hi guys, Tevik here, and welcome to episode 3 of Minecraft Season 3. So, I was starting to flatten this area out because I want to expand my base out this way, and I realized this is taking a very long time, and I'm using up a lot of my poor shovels. So, I think it's time to make a new cool item. Well, you know what it is. You know what I always make as soon as I get three diamonds? Oh yes. Let's see now. We have tin. I'm gonna need four of those. We have iron. I'm gonna need six of those. And I'm gonna need three copper. Actually, I don't need any copper. I have all the cabling I need. Awesome. I will need two redstone for the circuit and two for the battery. So first, making a battery. Perfect. And second, we need to cook up the iron. Yes. And I've actually found an interesting bug. If I shift click out of the electric furnace, I don't pick up anything. But if I just, well, I do pick up, but I don't get the experience. If I just lift it, I get the experience. That's very odd, but not a major problem, I suppose. Ooh, another stack of rubber. Um, I've got plenty of that now. Um, what I was thinking, this is going to be the machine room, so um, most of my, well, some of my, sh my machines at least will be in there. And I will expand to this side here with another building uh, for sorting and stuff and I might actually just take down these trees and uh, expand out this way with another building hmm that might actually be a good plan but we'll see start with this so that's one of those that what I need to do? I'm pretty sure it's battery, and one of those, and... Oh! Did we just run out of power? Let's stop that one for a while so that we have enough power to work with. It should be bright enough. I made a little bit of a staircase up here to my two solar panels that I have so far. Yeah, they are generating power, so... I have, by the way, found the mother load of uh, gold down in the caves, which is going to be very interesting. Because gold is used for a fair deal of things. Um, let's see. This is used in the pulverizer for pulverized gold for, well, tools, gears. Um, the invernium drop, gold gears, the advanced monitors. I always, always run out of it. So um, that's a very good thing that I found a good amount of it. And, uh, let's see, oh, it's done. And I have the mining drill, meet the dentist, and valuable upgrade. Now we just need power for this. Um, I'll grab one of the stacks of charcoal and stick it in there just to make sure. And we'll put the diamond drill in the generator to charge. And I'll be back once this has charged up. I just realized that I will need to make a couple of more um, generators and uh, stuff for my solar panels. Uh, I got two, so that's five, six, seven, eight. So if I make eight, oh, I have plenty of iron for that. 
So let's just put that in to be cooked, and that one is done. Uh, and we're gonna need to make, for six of them, we need 12 more iron dust. We're low on iron again, but that's cool. Okay, bye bye stone pickaxe, bye bye iron pickaxe. Don't need you anymore. And the shovel. Let's go and check how well it works. Ah, diamond drill, how I have missed you. Obviously, it's gonna take a little while to recharge and. It's still incredibly fast on just dirt. <laughs> also drains it very, very, very fast, but that's fine. This room here will be... I'm not sure, this might be a input room and... Uh, maybe liquid production, I'm not sure. I haven't really decided on exactly what to put here. Um, but I did drain this one very fast. I do need to make I should make one more circuit. We're gonna need a bunch of copper cables. Uh, I'm gonna need a total of twelve um, twelve circuits, which is something like that. Twelve uh, in each stack. And, uh, of course, I need to cook it first, so I'll do that later, uh, and I'll probably do it off-camera. As not to bore you with the waiting time. Um, I do want to make... I'll just smelt up all my iron. And we'll stick this in here. I want to make myself another backpack, and I want to make the forestry backpack. For that, I'm gonna need. For those, I'm also gonna need two wool, and I don't have any wool at all. That means I need to go sleep and then chase for some wool. Yes, you did see correctly in the log there that I did blow up. Oops. So, sheep, any of you around here? usually up in the forest. Um, it turns out that I am in a forest biome which uh, created a lot of uh, gold for me, which is nice. Ooh! Appetite, and it's visible. That's cool. Easy to find them. Although we do have a very large deposit of saltpeter which means it is very easy for me to make uh, fertilizer. Um, appetite is used to make the fertilizer. One appetite and two sand is eight fertilizer, but you can also make one saltpeter, one sand for two fertilizers, so that's not too bad. Okay, I got four now, which is enough for two backpacks. And I think you know which ones I am going to make. Yeah, you guessed correctly. I'm gonna make the digger's backpack and the miner's backpack. I quite like these buildings uh, that I built. Um, the building I make out here will be a lot longer, maybe a little taller, I don't know. Um, because I need to fit a lot more in it. It's in here. So get that and that and that, and we need to make two chests. So we'll make one chest like this, and we have two of those. I did have four more, right? Yes. That's the miner's backpack, and do I have two more of those. Let's 
Excuse me, iron. I'm gonna have to wait. I need to cook the cobblestone. And we have the digger's backpack. These are good. The digger's backpack is on resupply mode, and uh, that's just so that I can have. If I do this, and pick this up, I will have always have 64 in my inventory. That's good. Um, right, before we go mining, I should charge this. Maybe I should make a bat pack. I don't have enough iron for that. We'll have that as our goal. However, for this now, I am going to head down, get some more uh, iron from the huge iron vein. I have expanded my mine a bit, so this is a quick way down. Ow. Okay, so we have uh, a vein of lapis in that direction, saltpeter in a large chunk over here. This seems to be a very, very large mother load. Um, tin is over here, and as, as you might remember, the iron is up here. So I'm gonna dig out some iron here. And I think I have the mother load here, which means that there's a vein that goes off in a direction which contains a lot as well. So it's gonna be interesting to see what I can find. Ow. That's just mean. So I'm gonna go for. 12 more. Ten, eleven, twelve. That's one stack of iron. And then we go down further into the depths. Because here I want to show you the gold vein that I found. Um, Oh yeah, down here is a set of diamonds. I'm saving these up because uh, I want to enchant eventually, but I might need to. Uh, I might need to um, get some more diamonds first. Take a look at this uh, copper vein. This is the vein. Um, go straight here, and I don't know where the actual mother load is, but as you can see, there is copper everywhere. And here is the gold. This is a great amount of gold, I tell you. So I'm just gonna cut this. Wow, look at this. And if I go out here, there is gold down there, which means that the vein probably goes... This is the mother lo load, it probably goes down in that direction somewhere. So it might be... It might be a very large amount of gold in this mountain. Just gonna dig this out. Oh, and there's tin. Can never get enough tin. So I do realize that my settings allow me to make a l uh, get a lot more ores than usual, but I have uh, kind of decided this. Uh, let's play will be more about the builds, not about the ore collection. And uh, this is probably the last ore collection you will see me do, except for when I do special stuff like um, go to the nether, stuff like that. Not that there are any ores there, but you know. Um, that's 30. Let's get one stack of gold. There we go. But yeah, it's going to be more about the builds and the cool stuff that I can do. So in this episode, uh, I will uh, finish up the next room that I'm building and uh, come up with some cool ideas for what we can place in there. And uh, I will do most of that off camera. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Oh yeah, 
do remember that I need to get some coal as well. And uh, might as well just get the coal out of the... No, I can't. Out of energy. Oh well. This one has plenty of... I can also make a charging station. It's a fairly simple recipe now that I have lots of and lots and lots of iron. And there we go. That's 61 iron to cook up into uh, refined iron. So I will see you guys in a bit. Uh, I will expand my solar power array so I get plenty of uh, solar power and uh, be right back with you. Almost done with my uh, generators and I made myself an electric wrench so that I can safely remove items and uh, that's a lot of energy. I'm gonna need to make a charging table soon enough but yeah just waiting for the coal to be macerated up here and uh, this I am making because I need I'm actually gonna need a bit more Let's cook up some more of those. Like that. And I will need some wood. And it's night time. Oh yeah. I was uh, clearing out a little bit here so that I can make this more of a safe edge. And I found redstone. So it seems to be a redstone vein that goes down there. So. I also started digging in this area here and uh, dug out a bit of coal and trying to follow the vein, but it seems to be going up. I'm not entirely sure yet. Um, what was I making? Uh, yes. I'm gonna need five. So actually, we're gonna need four, so that's fine. Like that, and we get the stuff over here. So we can make an LV transformer. That's good. Now, two more of these to go. I think that's the... yes. And we just wait. There's a lot of recipes you can make in the Maze Rater, actually. Um, clay dust? I don't even know what uses clay dust. Oh, construction foam, of course. Which is kind of cool, but I don't really use it, so... That's, uh... Six more solar panels. Let's use this one. To remove these. Oh. Um, yeah, removing machines with this uses up a lot of energy. Let's charge that one up. Still lossless. There we go. And now, using my eight solar panels, I can make an a low voltage solar array. That's just sad. Oh well, <laughs> I'll let it sit there for now. Um, this one produces 8 EU per tick, so I can have 4 of them before my bat box goes boom. So that's what I'm going to be working off camera to make, because I want to have a solid input of energy. And now, let's see, I'm just going to sleep. There we go. Dump that one in there. Um, I'm gonna make an electric tree tap as well. We don't need that, nor do we need those. Or the copper cables. I should probably go out and get these. I'm gonna make a lap pack. Well, a bat pack at least. Um, the lap pack might be a bit overkill for now. I will need it later though. Let's see. Yeah, a backpack 
shouldn't be too much of a problem to make now. I need to have a total of three, four, five, six batteries. Do I have enough for that? I have enough. Yeah, that's going to be enough. And I also need an electric circuit. So two of those and one of those. Three of those and six of that. So let's um, cook the tin first. Actually, let's cook the iron. Since that's a bit faster. And we cook this one as well. Yeah, I'm gonna try and save my experience up a little bit because I really want to uh, get an enchanted pickaxe. For that, I'm gonna need an enchanting table. Well, enchantment table. So that's two diamonds, four obsidian. So I need a total of five diamonds for a pickaxe. What? Is that one not producing any energy now? That's very strange. It should be. Um... I'm not risking anything here, so um, let's burn a little bit of charcoal, or maybe it just can't keep up with all three machines at the same time. I don't know. This one is definitely not receiving any energy. Very strange, indeed. Oop. Maybe the power needs to go in the bottom part of the machine. I'm not sure, actually. Oh well. Uh, once this one gets to... that should be enough. Put it there. Why is that one not outputting any energy? Hmm. I'm gonna have to see if there is anything odd going on here. I'll be right back, guys. All right. So seems I had a bit of a derp there. Um, output on this one was pointed in this direction so no wonder it didn't produce any energy oh well it works now and now we have a steady flow of EU ticking in it's a total of eight so I'm gonna need to make a few more of them right I was making something else oh yeah I was making a lap pack um, but I do need these first Well, the backpack. There we go. Redstone on each side. There we go. Going to need another set of these. Yep. Definitely. Um, and I've been digging a bit on this area here. Um, and started placing the ground uh, foundation for this whole thing, but um, one more. There we go. That's how tall the building is. I am going to expand this up. What are you doing, pig? Oh well, bacon. Um. I'm gonna expand this up to be the same height as the other one, 
but I will double the width so it will uh, reach much further in that direction I think maybe even curve it off uh, we'll see how I build it but um, basically I need to have a lot of space for the sortation and everything to work as I want it to okay three more copper and we make cabling and we do that and balance this and we have six batteries and I need one more tin fairly sure do we have anything? oh yeah I was starting on this as well I'm gonna put the redstone engine uh, hopper into the macerator and um, uh, make sort of a loop it's just an insertion pipe there uh, wooden pipe there, insertion pipe there, and uh, a normal pipe there. Should make it... Yay, bat pack. That should make it easy enough. Um, what do I need for the charging bench? It's uh, just three copper cables, an electric circuit, and a bat box. So we need to have running really low on these again. Um, something like that. Let's cook that. And it's charged. Yay. I'll put the charging bench um, there, I think. We're just on top of the generator so I can get the power from the generator as well. That will be fine. Yeah, you can upgrade the charging benches and downgrade them as much as you want, which is very interesting. This is from the charge pads. This is quite a cool one. You can charge yourself by just standing on a starting standing on the charge pad. It's fairly cool, but this works for me as well. So we need a circuit did we? Which means we need iron. Yep, yeah, electric circuit. Let's cook that iron up. Like that. And like that. Perfect. And uh, now we can keep cooking that tin. I don't think... Yeah, just three, like that, like that, and uh, four wood. Do I have any with me? Nope. Let's get some from the cave here. Let's see if it works with the uh, redwood logs. I'm actually not sure it does. I've had some problems with redwood not being recognized. So we might have to run off and get ourselves a piece of useful wood. One more. That's three. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I can't use these. It's a bit of a bug, I think. It doesn't seem to be intentional. Um, so we'll just hop off in the distance here and chop down a tree that gives us something else. birch wood or something just oak will do there we go that's one tree and two tree two three I suppose there we go and I can dash back home
do need to set up some sort of um, some sort of farm as well, but that's no hurry. You can do that with forestry. Right. Let's see. I need one more. I do have one more. Perfect. So three of those, four of those, one there, and the battery box there. And we have our LV charging bench, which is now slowly going to fill up. Which is going to take a while, but that's fine. The electric wrench can live in that box for now, and we have a disco light going there as it's charging, uh, charging up. <laughs> I suppose I could make a... simple lever to just make sure that this one is charged first. We will probably use the, um, the monitor, the storage monitor. It's a fairly simple recipe but it outputs a redstone signal whenever the machine that it's hooked up to is... Uh, well, you can set some details on how much energy the bat box could have, for instance. So this one needs to be full before it starts outputting energy to this one. Anyhow, let's uh, clear this out for now. Can put this in there. No, I might as well just carry that. And uh, we don't need that. And let's see. I have plenty of dirt, and I don't need to carry that around. There we go. One stack of cobblestone is always good to have for when when we're down in the caves. Which is actually where I'm gonna go now. Um, I'm going to go and get a decent amount of um, uh, iron, stock up a bit on redstone, and uh, maybe dig out some obsidian. Yeah, I will do that. So I'll see you in a short moment. And I just saw that I'm way over time here, so I will have to see you guys in the next episode. Between episodes, I am going to do a little bit of digging and uh, planning and um, some resource collection. So, yeah. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.